unify the cell in this lesson we'll be learning about that all living things is made up of cells and we'll also observe the cell structure using microscope to understand structure of a cell and we'll also explain the components of a cell and finally we'll understand the structural difference between the animal cell and the plant cell look at the picture are these pictures looking similar yes the first picture shows the brick wall the second one is a similar image of onion like the brick wall our human body is also made up of a lots of cells and the cell is the basic building block of each living thing the cell is the basic and structural unit of all living things as it carries all essential functions let us see about the discovery of a cell robert hook published a book on micrographia in the year 1665 where the term cell was used first he described the structure of a tissue by using the term cell the branch of science that deals with the study of cells will called as cell biology cell is derived from a latin word cellula which means chamber the englishman robert hooke the scientist a mathematician and an inventor he described a term microscope which was used in those days finally he built a compound microscope he placed a water lens beside the microscope to focus the light from the oil lamp on the specimens to illuminate them brightly one day robert hook made the thin slices of a cock and observed them under a compound microscope he observed many identical hexagon chambers and he was surprised after that he observed many things like butterfly wings bees compound eyes etc and finally he identified there are different kinds of cells in different living organisms which have common characteristics the structural organization of a cell a typical cell consists of three major parts an outer cell membrane a liquid cytoplasm and a nucleus analogous to a body's internal organs like a heart eyes lungs and other organs specialized structures and perform valuable functions which are necessary for normal cellular operations many distinct structures are called organelles which lies within the cell so a typical cell consists of three major parts let us learn something new the cell size has no relation to the size of an organism it is not necessary that the cells of a say an elephant be much larger than those of a mouse either it is an elephant or it is a mouse the size of a cell is not related with size of an organism shapes the cells are of different shapes let's observe the picture the nerve cell the red blood cell or a muscle cell each and every cell has its unique shapes look at the picture how the cell size ranges from small to the larger one the smallest cell size is virus continuing by virus the bacterium cell plant cell a human egg a frog egg a hen's egg and finally the ostrich egg this is how the cells are arranged from small to large classification of cells the cells are classified into two types namely prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells the prokaryotic cells have no true nucleus but in eukaryotic cells there is a true nucleus the unicellular organisms like bacteria has the type of prokaryotic cell which is called as no true nucleus this type of nucleus is also called as nucleotide where it ranges from 0.003 to 
2.0 micrometer in diameter. The cells were the first form of life on the earth. Eukaryotic cells said to be the cells which have true nucleus and it is bigger than prokaryotic cells. Its organelles are also bounded by membrane. This eukaryotic cell is seen in plants, animals, most of the fungi and even algae. Plant cells The plant cells are usually larger in size and hard in its nature. The plant cell has a cell wall by additional to the cell membrane. It has chloroplast where it contains the chlorophyll for food production. The plant cells have larger vacuoles, but the centrioles are absent in the plant cell. Animal cell The animal cells are usually smaller than the plant cell and it is not that much harder when compared with the plant cell. Cell wall is absent in animal cell and usually there is no chloroplast in animal cell. In animal cells, there are many small vacuoles and it consists of centrioles. Let us see the components of cells and their functions. Cell wall. The function of cell wall is to surround and protect the cell and it makes the cell stiff and strong. The special name for cell wall is supporter and protector. Cell membrane. The cell membrane holds and protects the cells and it controls the movement of the materials in and out of the cell and its special name for the cell membrane is the gate of cell. Cytoplasm. It is called as a watery gel like material in which the cell parts move and the special name for cytoplasm is the area of movement. Mitochondria. The mitochondria helps to produce and supply most of the energy for the cell and specially it is called as the powerhouse of a cell. Chloroplast. The chloroplast consists of a green pigment chlorophyll and it captures the energy from the sunlight to produce food for the cell by the process of photosynthesis. And the special name for chloroplast is food producer for the cell. Vacuoles are usually seen in plants and in small quantities in animals where it stores food, water and chemicals. It is also called as by special name storage tanks. Nucleus As a brain, here the nucleus acts as a brain for the cell which controls and regulates the cell activities and the special name is control center. Nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane surrounds and protects the nucleus, control the movement of the materials in and out of the nucleus and the special name is the gate of the nucleus.